Okay. All right. Well, they are watching. So we're going to launch your L3 cert in uh, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Nice boost, nice and straight. On September 22nd through the 24th, uh, I attended the Tripoli Balls 31 rocketry launch event uh, together with one of my professors from the University of North Dakota. This event is made for launching experimental and large rockets that would otherwise be too dangerous to launch at any other event, which is why it is held out in the middle of the desert in Nevada. So this event actually took place just a couple weeks after Burning Man, at which everybody got stuck in the mud and had to be evacuated. Fortunately, the desert had dried out before the rocketry event, and this wasn't a concern when we got there. Uh, the name BALLS apparently was originally an acronym, but they couldn't agree on what it would stand for, so it just became the name of the event. At least that's my understanding. Since this place is so remote, there are really only three places to stay while you're here. That is in Gerlach, probably in Bruno's Motel, and a camper that you brought with you to the desert, or just camping out on the playa, which is a dried lake bed which forms the desert. So once we got out to the launch site, there was a big line of cars and trucks and campers all lined up in front of the range. Beyond the safety line, there were five launch sites with multiple launch pads at each site where people could set up their rockets. 14 and a half feet tall, weighs 120 pounds. It is yellow in color. He's flying this on an EX-06041. Uh, should have 23,740 newtons in here. This is a 114 millimeter ohm motor. Uh, so we're gonna watch this one. It's got a 24 foot uh, at Apogee and missile works altimeter and a stra uh, strata logger also. So good luck to you, Sean. We're gonna try it on pad E7 or E1, left side of the E pads. We got a clear range and a clear sky. We're launching your O motor in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Got some smoke, look at that. professor wanted to attend this event because there is a new space propulsion lab being started up at University of North Dakota and so we attended this event to get some insight into amateur rocketry and what all goes into launching rockets at these events. Marcos, my professor, decided that since he was already registered as a Tripoli member uh, he wanted to purchase one of the kits there and launch a rocket at the event for his level one certification. The second day we were there, Marcos was able to finish his rocket and launch it without any issues. So we are going to launch the first uh, rocket called Benny Vidi. We dropped Da Vinci because we had to wait until to see what happens. I'm very happy to be here, to be honest, and thank you very much for Bailey for all the support you have given me. Hope we'll have a good flight. Three, two, one, launch. And so he received his level one rocketry certification from Tripoli. Go Hawks! Okay, so here in Black Rock Desert in Nevada, uh, Burning Man is over there. A few weeks ago they held it. And right behind me is the a launch site for Tripoli Balls 31 research rocketry event. Uh, this is day three currently. Um, it's been a lot happening, lots of rockets. Uh, we've got some clouds today, but it's been clear otherwise. Um, yeah, it's just completely right. I'm here, I'm a little further away from the event right now, and it's just completely quiet aside from me talking and the wind is it's it's very alien feeling right here um, and it's just flat nothing for miles in every direction so it's um, which is kind of a bit like North Dakota but it's desert so that's different <laughs> uh, yeah it's just peaceful quiet and calm 
And so despite being out in the middle of the desert for an extended period of time, overall I'd say the trip was a great experience. Got to see quite a lot of great launches. Uh, it was also cool being out to a new part of the world, I guess, that I had never been to. Um, never been in the desert before. But uh, it was also got a little bit long towards the end since uh, I'm, at least for me, I'm not being used to the desert. It was a little dehydrating and a lot of sunburn involved. But still, a good experience overall, and it was definitely worth going.